In this video, I'm going to share with you how to remove car wax, and specifically Meguiar's Ultimate Paste Wax, with dish soap. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you're here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If this is your first time here and you're a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So if you're just beginning in the auto detailing business, you might be wondering why would I want to intentionally remove the wax from the painted car surface? And the answer to that question can vary, but I would say probably the main reason that most detailers actually remove wax or remove a sealant intentionally is because they're about to polish a car. Now I want to show you guys a safe way to actually remove the wax with some dish soap. And of course this is, you know, argued a lot. People say, is it safe for the paint? Is it not safe for the paint? Let me show you guys the dish soap that I choose to use if I want to approach the removal of the wax in this specific method. Now this part definitely does not need to be overthought in that it's not too important really what kind of dish soap you use, but I would say try to go for the dish soap that's fragrance free, that's bleach free, Clorox free, anything like that. Maybe just some plain Dawn dish soap if you can. Try to get it without kind of the additives that the dish soap normally comes with. Now I'm going to go ahead and be doing this on a white car because as you guys know if you've been detailing, the waxed surface on a white car doesn't really stand out as much as it would on like a black car. A waxed black car it pops much more than a waxed white car and so I'm doing this on purpose because because I don't really want to focus on the visual aspect of the wax as much as I actually want to show you guys the water test of how I know that the wax has been removed. Obviously if you pour water on a waxed surface the water beads up and runs off very quickly. It has a very very distinct way of doing that whereas if it's on a non waxed surface the water kind of sits, it doesn't run together, bead up and go off. It kind of sits there and runs off in a very uh, kind of askew pattern, things like that. So. What I'm going to do is actually wax the hood of this car with some paste wax, then I'm going to use the dish soap to remove it, and then we're going to use the water test after, before and afterwards to show you guys how it looks before and how it looks after, and it's also going to show us the effectiveness of how well the dish soap actually removed the wax. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the wax like I would with any car, and I just want you guys to see that I'm actually applying this paste wax so you know it's here. Then we're going to do the water test, see how it beads up, then we're going to use the dish soap to remove the wax to see how effectively it does it, use the water test afterwards and see how the water acts to really determine how much of the wax actually was removed, if not all of it. So here we go with the water, alright so you guys see how it beads up and it just runs off, you can even tell on this white car, see how it all beads up, we'll do it again, check that out. See how it's all running off the paint, it beads up, and we can even look at it like in a specific way, the water that's still on it. See how it just runs together like that? It seems to not just be sitting on the surface, it's sitting on that sacrificial wax barrier, beads up just like that. Looks very, very, very nice. Now what I'm going to do is apply just a little bit of dish soap to this wash mitt, and I'm going to wash the hood of the car with the dish soap applied here. We're going to take uh, all the wax off, remove it all with the dish soap, and then apply the water once again. <laughs> So now that I've applied and removed the dish soap, you can kind of already tell because I washed it off with the water already. I'm going to go ahead and take the hose, spray it on here, and we're going to see how the water reacts. So check that out. You can see that this, in contrast with how the water reacted before, you can see that the water does not bead up, okay? It doesn't bead up. It's just kind of sitting on the paint. There's no beading up whatsoever. So what does this reaction tell me? Well, that tells me that that wash mitt with the dish soap completely removed the paste wax that I had just previously applied. So you guys see the difference between the shape, kind of how the water reacts now, as to how it did before with the wax. The water's just sitting there, it's not running off, it's not beating up, it's just sitting right on top of the car paint. So obviously this tells me that the dish soap is a very, very effective 
way to totally remove wax if that's what I'm after. So once again, there's different reasons why you would want to remove a previously waxed surface depending on what you're gonna do. But in my world, mostly the reason I remove wax is before I polish. I wanna have a totally bare canvas, no, no sacrificial barrier before I'm applying that polish or wet sanding or things like that. So this experiment tells us that yes, dish soap is a very, very good, effective way to remove wax and really just remove anything from the car paint that's been previously ap applied, whether it be a like spray detail or a sealant or a wax, anything like that. So dish soap, big thumbs up. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in getting your hands on some Meguiar's Ultimate Paste Wax or even some dish soap that I would recommend in using in order to strip wax, I'll hook those things up in the description box below. There'll be a couple Amazon links that'll take you straight to the products on Amazon. If you'd like to buy anything used in this video, if you could use my links, that would be awesome because it does give this channel a very small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so I can continue to give out awesome content on a daily basis just like this. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you just want to tell me how you specifically strip wax off of a car surface as a professional detailer, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below. I always read those and I'm sure to get back to you guys. And I always learn from you guys' strategies. So definitely let me know how you approach something like this. And of course, if this is your first time here, then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos just like this on products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help you professional detailers become more successful and profitable in your businesses. And on this channel, I share the exact strategies that allowed me to turn my auto detailing business into a full-time income with only part-time hours. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe. And of course, as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.